A rescue boat needs to be highly visible, and with the addition of a wheel, there's no chance of missing one of these. It's perfect for handling landside uh, water rescue, but also to be able to get out to the ocean when you don't have uh, a boat ramp. We've had boats that haven't been able to get quite as close inshore. Uh, sea Leagues has really revolutionised the way that we are able to handle certain jobs. So it makes everything very seamless. I mean, the transition from water to land, it's, it's not an issue. Prior to the, having this vessel, if we had a, had a call out this morning at 6am, we would have had to have waited until 7am before we could launch the, uh, the, the other Nyad vessel with the tractor. This vessel is now 12 to 15 minutes quicker um, in that 10 nautical mile range than what our larger vessel is. She drives by land and by water. Hold on, it's going to be a little bit aggressive here. As the fastest amphibious rescue boat in the world. Last week, rescuing flood victims in hard-to-reach pockets of Queensland. This week, scouring the shallow waters of the Moreton Bay mouth for the piles of junk that litter it. It takes them a matter of minutes before they're out of the water, up on the bank, and salvaging rubbish. You can drive up beaches, drive up rocks, roads, mud. Um, so the wheels are run on a hydraulic engine separately. It, it means we can access anywhere, we can rapidly de deploy anywhere and um, we can do it a lot safer than uh, the traditional style rescue boats that are on the water.